Are you interested in a career in the agricultural field? The next generation of agricultural scientists will help farmers battle tougher weeds, handle extreme weather, and grow more to meet an ever-increasing global demand for food. Why should you consider ag science? Because there's an ever-increasing demand for food worldwide every day, and not enough professionals to go around. This is a field that's looking for a crop of new talent, and it could be you. Bioinformatics experts grow row after row of data. This new, innovative field of work fuses biology, computer science, and information technology to accelerate innovation. Dr. Brian Scheffler works at the USDA ARS Research Facility in Stoneville, Mississippi. The basic concept of bioinformatics is biological data that you're analyzing, and we're talking large amounts of data. And the goal is not to understand one simple thing, but basically if you're talking about yourself, is how does your body work? And so now if you apply that to agricultural, to medicine or whatever, you're asking very similar things. You're asking whole questions. So how is the biology of something working? And so you get to ask questions. Someone's asking the question, why is the sky blue? Well, why do animals do certain things? Why do animals respond to certain things? You can now ask those questions and get answers. And that's what bioinformatics is the overall goal is to answer big questions. Bioinformatics scientists work closely with plant breeders and geneticists who generate the volumes of data that require complex statistical treatment. So in the field of bioinformatics, most people spend a lot more time in the laboratory because most of it's data analysis. However, if you, if you divide bioinformatics into its two major components, there are people that are more biologically orientated and people that are more computationally or computer oriented. And so the people that are on the biological side, they will do more biological research. They want to play with samples, they want to play with animals, they want to play with plants, and they want to do data analysis of that. And those people will be in the field. And other people may never leave their office and play with computers all day. And that's another advantage of bioinformatics. You get to do everything if you want. A bioinformatics scientist studies all things plants, experimental design, computer science, and lab work. Common classes include computer science and statistics, plant biology, ecology, plant breeding and genetics, and plant biochemistry. Bioinformatics is so broad in what you can do. There's a lot of different types of classes, a lot of different backgrounds you can come from of interest you can take. So obviously there's going to be biological classes, uh, computer classes, those are your main core of bioinformatics. But within there, there's a lot of different things you can do. People with artistic backgrounds even have a chance in bioinformatics. So because bioinformatics is so broad, the job opportunities are uh, very large. So uh, they go from academic aspects, so becoming professors or working in a lab with other people uh, government jobs uh, and industry. There's a lot of industry. There's not enough bioinformaticists out there. I can tell you if you graduate today and you're good at what you do, you have a job and you're going to have a good paying job in bioinformatics. It's a growing industry without a doubt. Because the field is very open and diverse, prospective bioinformatics scientists have a lot of choice in their subjects of study and level of education. There's different levels you can work at. And so if you like playing with computers on a daily basis, don't want to interact with a lot of people, you can do that with a bachelor's degree. You can do that with a PhD too. And so uh, there's advantages to both. And obviously if you go with a, a PhD, you're going to be paid more dollars. But the truth is, even with a bachelor's, you're going to get paid pretty darn well. Those who come into the field with a farming background are at an advantage. There is an advantage of having a farm background for bioinformatics and, and the reason it's that is beneficial is you understand what the need is, the final product. Because one of the things you're trying to do is solve problems. You're trying to produce more food for the world is one of the big things of agriculture and it's one of the byproducts of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics attracts people who are organized, determined and self-motivated like Dr. Brian Scheffler. 
I'm making an impact that's gonna go beyond my life. And I think that's what I really like as I'm helping other scientists where we're solving problems that'll, that'll help the world. And that's what's cool. If you would like to learn more, check with your local extension agent or go to msstate.edu. Someone has to be there to ensure that we feed the world. You can be that someone. Take care and keep learning.